Agony in Europe tonight as Italy's death toll passes 10,000. A day after another morbid milestone, 919 dead on Friday, the most in one day in any country. Global cases rising above 650,000 with more than 30,000 dead. The Pope cutting a lonely figure with a special prayer for those facing hunger due to the virus. The 83-year-old and his close colleagues testing negative for the virus today. Despite nearly three weeks of a national lockdown, the government now possibly extending that date to mid-April. Police are tightening the rules. Fines increased to up to $3,350, up from $230 earlier. In nearby Spain, authorities today reported 832 more deaths, the country's highest daily count yet, bringing the total to 5,690. This ice rink converted into a makeshift morgue. Hospitals struggling to cope. Health workers infected here at an alarming rate. More than 9,000 contracting the virus. Soldiers today disinfecting hospitals, train stations, and flying a drone to disinfect the streets. A national lockdown extended to April 11. But in China's Hubei province where the pandemic began, a glimmer of hope. Four consecutive days without new infections. The region now opening. Shoppers and supermarkets, the metro service prepped to restart. The worry here is a new outbreak coming from outside. Beijing announcing a temporary ban on foreigners coming into the country. But even the most stringent measures struggling to stop the disease. Yeah, Jose, the recovery rate may be starting to improve. The government said that 1,500 people had fully recovered from the disease in the past day. That's three times the number from the day before. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.